guys, how's it going? It's another day in the garage and a, and a completely new project we're starting today. This is Dave. Hello. You may recognize Dave from uh, from his own YouTube channel, which is a uh, Mary's Garage. Yeah, Mary's shit. shit. Mary's a shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> garage is uh, is the other guy we all know, but that's a completely different story. He's not in today. Uh, so Mary's uh, or Dave came over to um, to me today because he saw me on uh, on YouTube a few uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, doing some airbrushing on the on the on the petrol tank on a different bike, and uh, he had some idea on his own uh, on his own petrol tank. So uh, uh, why don't you explain what you want to do with this bad boy? Okay, yeah. Well, what it was is I realised that uh, this, I need to do some work on the Sportster. It's uh, time I got round to it again, and I wanted to change the look of it. And watching uh, uh, Mackie work on the tank. That's me. Yeah. I was uh, really impressed with what he was doing and I, so I started digging through his channel looking for his work, seeing what I liked, seeing what I didn't like and I'm coming up with all these ideas. Uh, um, so what I decided to do was buy myself a new tank um, because uh, well for a start the liner in mine is going so it needs a bit of work and uh, it allows me to, what I do with the bike typically is I buy new parts for it, and I take the old parts off and I store them so I can always put the bike back to spec if I ever wanted to. Can't imagine why I would, but I, if I wanted to I can. So, as I say, I was coming up with all these ideas, coming up with these great things and skulls and all this sort of shit on the uh, tank. Um, and then I came across a band t-shirt that uh, is one of my favourite bands and uh, thought, that's it. Uh, um, this is the man to do it. And it was all his fault. Um, <laughs> it's always my fault. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing that inspired me was when you were repairing the, the, the damage. The VFI 100, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I was just watching you airbrush these skulls in, and I'm going, wow, that is exactly what I want. Excellent. For my tank, with some minor detail changes, but that's basically it. So uh, I'm going to have skull on the side. Um, each side and then some extra little details that uh, I'm going to leave to Mackie with his artistic talent and uh, my complete lack of artistic talent. Uh, that's, that's not <laughs> true, that's not true. How many bikes you got currently in your garage? Uh, five. Five. The guy's got five bikes in his garage and all of them are pretty much modified to the extreme. He came to see me on the Harley, we're going to come and see it in a minute. Uh, but do go and check his uh, his channel. You know, guy got five bikes. He's working on them, uh, on and off on different bikes all the time. Something else is going on. Yeah. If not maintenance and modification, it's a really good uh, informative videos as well. So I uh, put the link uh, to Dave's channel in the uh, on the bottom of this uh, video. Go and check him out. Uh, we're gonna go out in a minute. Uh, have a look at his bike. But yeah, he's gonna leave me the tank with me. As you can see, it's a pretty good condition sports uh, petrol tank but I'm going to completely ruin it for him <laughs> on his own request. So um, yeah, that's going to be a couple of videos coming on this thing. Uh, probably a prep and then some, some artwork as well. Uh, I'm going to upload them whenever I can. We have a break from this thing and some other stuff. So uh, in the next few weeks, a uh, couple of weeks, maybe three, four weeks, uh, we're going to see videos from, uh, from a Dave's special time. We're going to do some uh, nice, interesting thing on that. And I appreciate the fact that they give me a free hand to do uh, pretty much whatever I want with some guidelines. And it's the best way of, uh, of working for me because uh, sometimes uh, I just want to do something else than the customer wants. And if he is happy with that, then fantastic. Oh, always willing to have a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. it's going to be pink, not black. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to see what happens here. But I'm going to be waiting for these videos as much as you guys and I do apologize for everybody who's waiting for this because I'm waiting for this to uh, be finished and to do more work is what I look forward to I watched the video last night looking forward so yeah sorry about that <laughs> gonna be taking up a bit of his time don't worry I'll, I'll find a way to fit it in you know everything is coming together you know so no worries right guys once again Dave thank you very much for seeing me today mate yeah cheers appreciate it fellow biker Go and check his channel out and uh, let's uh, jump outside and see his bike because I'm really impressed by his Harley. Alright guys, so Dave came uh, all the way, how many miles? Uh, it's about 90 I think. About 90 miles, 90, 100 miles, something like this. On this uh, 
Harley 1200 uh, Sportster. Uh, as you can see, it looks not much like a Harley anymore, like a Sportster anyway. Uh, done some pretty cool things to it. Dave, why don't you uh, say a couple of things, uh, what's happening here, the main modifications you've done to it. Uh, okay, well, I was originally going for the sort of uh, scramble look on the bike, which is popular amongst a very small segment of the Sportster community. So it's got 15 inch rear shocks uh, um, on the back, which raises it up. And it's got the chain sickle support, uh, rear set lows, um, which push your feet down and back. Although it does mean they ground a little bit more easily. Beyond that, it's got a few uh, slight performance upgrades, things like the Mercuni HSR 42 carb, the uh, the two into one Vance and Hines uh, headers with the Tiger uh, uh, N can, which is quite a nice sound, but it doesn't really sound like a Harley. Um, you've lost that chug 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 sound. Um, well, you're going to fire it up later on so you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, and other than that, it's just had things like the mud guards chopped. It uh, had the rear hugger put on to try and reduce some of the spray that comes back. But even so, you can see I rode it in the rain yesterday, and you just get jet washed even with this on the back. But hey, it's not... don't worry, I've got the same. I got no hugger there, so <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, but you're, you've got a mud guard there to try and catch a bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, number plate mud guard. Yeah. Yeah. Now, other than that, the only real change to it at the moment is I've just chopped the front end a little bit, so I've got rid of the eyebrow and dumped the clocks. The tack stopped working, so that's come off, and the speedo is down at the side where it's out of sight, so that when you're riding, all you see are the handlebars and uh, the headlight. You've got no instruments and shit and lights and whatever else in your way. It's just the pure riding experience. No, it looks pretty cool, man. I have to say, uh, I've seen it on your uh, on your channel, but looking at that in uh, in in flash, it's it looks much better, as they always do, you know. <laughs> and uh, what I like about it is, you can see, it's not just custom, you know, trailer queen. It's it's been ridden because it's filthy, and that's how it should be, you know. That's uh, every bike should be ridden in all conditions, I believe, and uh, that is exactly what this. You customize it to use it, not to look at it. Uh, exactly. It's all about the riding. That's it, man. That's all about the riding. Light, you want to fire it up? Oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's see. Alright guys, so as you saw it, um, David just left actually, uh, disappeared back home with his Harley, but he left that petrol tank with me. Uh, he wants it black and he wants some um, airbrushing on it, some uh, very specific artwork. Um, so over the next um, uh, few episodes, probably two, maybe three extra episodes on top of this one, um, I will show you what I'm going to do with it. It's going to be black, then we're going to apply some artwork to it, you know, prepare it for everything. And I will try to explain more or less what I'm doing along the process, you know. Uh, hopefully we can make it a little bit more interesting uh, than, uh, than your usual uh, uh, painting tank video. So uh, see what we can come up with. Uh, I'm going to prep it in the next, uh, next episode and, and spray it black. Uh, but, that's, uh, but that's not for today. Today i got a drinking session <laughs> coming up. So I'm going to leave the garage and uh, do not touch any tools when I'm, when I'm doing that. Anyway, until next time guys, thank you very much for watching, have a bit, rock hard, and I'll see you next time.